charges could be coming after a deadly head-on crash on Interstate 87 in northern New York. Police released some new information from their investigation today. They say 37-year-old Brian O'Leary, who's from Maine, was driving uh, the wrong way for more than 30 miles before uh, the crash outside of Lewis, New York, which is roughly just west of the Charlotte Essex Ferry. Officials said O'Leary was in possession of a loaded handgun and did not have a permit to carry a firearm in New York State. The crash prompted several 911 calls from other drivers on the Northway. NBC5's Lauren Granada is live in the newsroom now with more on the investigation. Lauren? Stu, Liz, I spoke with a woman off camera who says she drove past that wrong way driver Monday night on I-87 right before he crashed head on into the car Kathy Groshans was in when she died. Now that witness says she is traumatized by it all. And now officials are reminding drivers what to do if you ever encounter a wrong way driver. Probably once a week. I see somebody driving the wrong way down the road. Mike Anderson spends a lot of time on the road as the owner and instructor of this driver's ed business in Williston. You're like caught in this surreal moment of, wait, am I in the wrong spot? 37-year-old Brian O'Leary was in the wrong spot Monday night just after 7.30 when New York State Police say he was driving the wrong way up I-87 South in Lewis, New York. Police say O'Leary collided head-on with a car carrying four passengers, including 47-year-old Kathy Groshans, who died of blunt force trauma caused by the crash. When, when two vehicles are traveling at highway speeds at 65 miles an hour, they're, they're nearing each other at about 200 feet a second. Chittenden County Deputy Sheriff John Marku says seconds really do count in wrong way driver situations, which is why knowing what to do if you encounter one is crucial. You should move to the right. Go to the shoulder if you can. Stop. Turn on your four-way hazards to warn other drivers that may be behind you. And then when it's safe to do so, you can call 911. Vermont State Police have responded to 42 calls involving wrong way drivers so far this year. They continue to stress the importance of avoiding all distractions while behind the wheel. The issue is if you're not already paying attention, if you're not already looking down the road by the time you have a wrong way driver coming at you, um, it might be too late. New York State Police say that wrong way driver Brian O'Leary is in critical condition. Kathy Groshan's husband, who was driving the car and the two boys in the back seat, are stable. Charges against O'Leary are pending. Live in the newsroom, Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.